Hi, everybody. Guess that's clean now. Thanks for joining me. So, have we all been getting to know the inside of our houses a little bit better? I know I have. Um, my name is Bonnie Buick. I'm a violinist in the Boston Symphony uh, most of the time. Um, so, right now, um, I'm going to do a little instrument demo that's geared toward uh, violinists who might want to do a little fiddling in some of their spare time, which we have now, right, unfortunately. So, um, although technically uh, violining and fiddling are the same thing, or violin and fiddle are the same thing, violining and fiddling are quite different. Um, so how did I get started doing this? So about 15 years ago, I uh, was playing with the group Child's Play, and I was sort of the, the resident classical violinist and I would show up and I would play my classical piece and just listen to this amazing group of fiddlers um, uh, like uh, Hanukkah Castle and Katie McNally and um, uh, Sheila Falls and Lissa Schneckenberger, amazing, amazing players. And uh, I decided that I started to look like a freak show compared to these amazing fiddlers and I, I took the plunge. I just dove right in. So without going into too much about what my process was like, I um, really loved learning New England tunes and Irish and um, Quebecois, really some really great French Canadian music and um, more recently some old time tunes. And uh, I'm finding that old time tunes are a great entry point for uh, classical violinists because the tunes are pretty simple and once you start adding some drone open strings and some ornaments then you're instantly in that fiddle category without uh, years and years of experience. So I thought maybe I'd play a couple of those for you today um, and then maybe play them up to speed and then break them down uh, a little bit uh, more slowly to, to show you, you know, kind of how the ornaments come into play and uh, make them a little bit more user friendly. And then I'll tack on the film that uh, I did with my kids yesterday, our newly formed band called the Grumble Teens. Perhaps you have some of those at home too. Um, yeah, so we made a little demo video of it yesterday um, and we'll tack that on. And anything else I think of along the way to um, add to the experience, I'll just uh, let you know. Okay, so. Here goes, now that everything's all disinfected. Okay, so straight into Nail That Catfish to the Tree and The Boatman. Thank you. 
I'm going to play the first, uh, the G major tune for you, Nail That Catfish to the Tree, which I have to admit, I kind of chose it because of the name of the tune. It's a lot of fun. Um, I'll play the whole thing without my band, and then I'll break down each, uh, the A part and the B part for you. goes like this, slowly. One and two. the B part, slowly, one and two. the Boatman, the A major tune that we played. Uh, I'm going to break it down for you, play the whole thing through, and then uh, play each one of the parts. The interesting thing about this tune is the form. It goes A, A, B, C, B. A, A, B, C, B. Ooh. It's very unusual, but a lot of fun to play. So here's the A part of the Boatman. It repeats and it goes something like this. One, two, one, and two. play them together because they're relatively short and uh, as I mentioned before it goes B C B so here we go one and two <laughs> Thank you. 
play you a couple old time tunes. Uh, my name is Bonnie Buick, and this is my son Andrew Brown and Kevin Brown on the bass. We're going to play a couple old time tunes. The first one's called Nail That Catfish to the Tree, and the second one is called The Boatman. 